What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of server or connection issue you're currently having with Project Zomboid. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It will really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. But without further ado, I don't want to waste your time anymore. I just want to start right into the video. So let's get right started. So the first thing I would recommend doing for everybody for having this kind of issues in 50% of the cases, it's the case that's not the issue of your PC or something like that. So the old method, just going to your re router, restarting it, um, just restarting your router in general, just, just, you know, off and on, it will just solve 50% of the problem. So just try it if you haven't tried it already. So next thing is could also be a thing that uh, your PC, if you're using ethernet, so if you're connected with cable to your Wi-Fi, um, your cable's broken. So I just want you to flip it. So put the other end on the PC and the other end back onto your uh, Wi-Fi connection and try if this works. If this doesn't work, it will probably be, be an uh, error one of your PC. So uh, I just want you to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto the Windows setting symbol. Or you're going to click Windows key on your Wii, on your keyboard. So next thing is going to be to click onto settings. And once you're at the settings, I want you to click onto network and internet. So as you can see, there's a lot of data which you can uh, see from this um, tab which pops up. I want you to, or uh, the first thing I want you to do is going to be to click on to uh, change adapter settings. What you're going to use here is going to be to, um, you can see which one you're connected to. So either ethernet or internet, it depends on cable. So ethernet is cable, internet is Wi-Fi, so uh, without cable. So uh, for me, ethernet, I want you to right click it, click on to disable take quite a while and now I want you to enable it again so this will take quite a few moments so just wait patiently for it uh first of all would, yeah as you can see if it's back to network it's working fine so you can close this one afterward and I want you to click onto network and sharing center so once this one pops up again check which your access type is so internet and which your connection type is as you can see it's ethernet for me and uh, this could be also a problem if you have um, internet, but you're connected with ethernet, that's a problem, you need to switch that. So next thing I want you to do is gonna be to troubleshoot problems. You're gonna click on that. So um, obviously you're gonna be right directed to your um, Windows um, system. So which is gonna troubleshoot, but there isn't anything. So uh, you, can you can close this down again and go back to it. So next thing is gonna be to click on to uh, ethernet. As you can see, there's another, another time a lot of data uh, which you can use, but I want you to uh, click on two properties, which you can only access if you have um, the right to be an administrator for that. So you can uh, you have to put this into administrator mode. So next thing I want you to do is scroll down where you can see Internet Protocol version 4. I want to double click it. And uh, now you can... Um, you can do go down to your DNS server address where I want you to basically enable use the following DNS server addresses. So now you need to basically Google your DNS server addresses. It's not the same for everybody. So uh, for me, it's like four, four, uh, like two times, two times four, two times eight, and this should work, but I don't know if it's worked for you. So I needed to Google it. You need to Google it for yourself and afterwards click okay, and also restart your PC. You can close everything down afterwards. And also this one, you're gonna go back to your um, network internet settings. I want you to go to um, updating network adapter or driver because sometimes it could be also a problem that your adapter isn't um, on the latest version. So your driver, as you can see, you're gonna go to device manager and click onto update driver if your driver isn't on the latest version. So once you did that, I want you to go to show available networks. As you can see, it could also be sometimes that it doesn't work for that. So for me, as you can see, I'm connected to ethernet. I want you to um, disconnect and reconnect if you're using Wi-Fi. This could also help you a lot. And afterwards, you can end this task. 
and uh, open up your settings again. So by simply going to the um, uh, settings corner, open it up. And you can also uh, check your Windows because sometimes it's your Windows. You need to go to check for updates and update every single drive where you could currently find in your PC, which is outdated. For me, it's um, up to date, so basically it's fine. You just need to um, yeah, check it if you have the latest version of Windows because sometimes it could also depend on things like that. And um, yeah, once you're done with that, you can end this task. You're going to go down to uh, your taskbar. So you're going to, this taskbar right here, something's also, also here. So right click it. You're going to click on to task manager, open up your task manager. This could take quite a while. So just wait patiently. So now what I want you to do is going to be really simple. I want you to uh, go to the top left corner of your screen where you want you to click on to um, performance. And I want you to look at your ethernet because you can see you can see that it's working because sometimes it doesn't work. And I want you afterwards to click on to open resource monitor, this thing right on the bottom left of your screen. Click on that. And now you need to wait for something as you can see. Now we are working with that if you have like uh, connection issues in your games or something like that. You're going to see some apps you need to wait like quite a few moments and every single app will be loaded in. So now I want you to simply click every single app and empty process. Of course, of process which you don't really need. So enter task you don't really need, which are currently consuming your uh, internet or ethernet connection, which is going to lead to uh, less performance in game. So as you can see, it loads in some apps. I want you to close everything, everything besides your game and uh, this will probably fix your issue. So uh, once you've finished with that, you can close this one down. Again, check if your uh, internet or internet is working fine. Same thing for um, a startup. Sometimes there are apps in the background which you're, um, when you start your PC, which are consuming some um, internet connection, especially for people who don't have that high performing Wi-Fi or router in general, it's really, a good tip if you just end every single task which is currently using also in the background your internet or wi-fi connection in general this will help you a lot with this issue so once you've finished with that you could basically end everything you could also restart your pc afterwards look if, if it was something like that something related to windows or old driver but um i hope that i could really help you out of this video guys um, if it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my channel. It would really help me out and make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. If you have any kind of questions, in anything, you have a problem or something like that, feel free to uh, ask a question in the commentary section. I will take my time and read every single question and try to answer it or make a video by myself on it. So you don't have to uh, search it up for yourself. So. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any other issues with games, I have a lot of videos online to uh, help you out with uh, some issues you could currently have. So I thank you a lot for watching this video. See you the next time. I hope you have a wonderful day and bye.